This is Brad Clayton with the November 2020 Puzzle Duck Golf Thought of the Month. Thank you very much for watching. Hope everyone is staying safe, doing well, and maintaining that distance, which I think is the most important thing. Also, keeping your uh, hands clean. I keep my hand clean. I save a lot of money on the, uh, the sanitation gel because I only have to keep the one, so I'm 50% ahead of the ball game there. But I uh, hope all is doing well. hope you're looking forward to a, a great Thanksgiving tomorrow, Christmas coming up. And uh, unfortunately, we're not able to get it together as much as possible or as much as we'd like to. But uh, just I guess at this point in time, we have to keep the, uh, the safety. So anyway, we're going to talk a little bit about golf. We'll talk about putting uh, today. I'm going to make this relatively quick. We're going to talk about centeredness of contact on your putter. Believe it or not, if you don't hit the center of the club face, you're going to experience some twisting and some absorption of energy in the club head. So it's equally important to hit the putter solid in the club face and center of the club face as it is with your driver or your iron shots. So here's why. I'm going to try to hold this up. I'm not the greatest in the world at holding this thing up here well, but if I take this golf ball and tap the toe of this club, you'll notice that the club is twisting and the shaft is not moving, but the club is twisting. You'll also notice if I hit the heel, it's going to do the same thing. The heel is twisting, the face is shutting, and the club is just twisting around. The energy is not getting transferred into the shaft of the club. So if I hit in the center of the club face, you'll notice a totally different reaction. The club will stay much straighter. You don't see any twisting and the whole golf club is going backwards and forwards. So you'll see that the energy is getting transferred into the club with the strike from the golf ball. So if you're hitting the toe of the golf club, it's going to tend to twist, absorb energy, which will make the ball go shorter in distance, and also tend to make it go out to the right because it will open the face. If you hit towards the heel, which is less common, but if you hit towards the heel, it will twist the face closed absorb energy, make it come up short, and typically to the left. If you hit the cloth ball more in the center, it's going to transfer the energy and help the ball roll more straight and also with more energy, a truer distance that would be more consistent. So hitting in the center is very important. I had a problem a long time ago, uh, I'm guessing it's right at 18 years ago, where I had a, it visually looked to me like it was in the center, but it was out on the toe of the club, and I was missing a lot of short putts to the right of the hole, right of the hole, couldn't figure it out. Finally figured out that I just had the ball out towards the toe, and it was opening the face when I struck it, and I wanted to put it more back. As soon as I put it back in the center, I started hitting it more into the center of the hole. So here's a simple and easy way to track how you're setting up to the ball and where you're striking it. And that is to use the alignment lines that you have on your golf balls these days. Those are the little lines that have little arrows on both ends. Most every golf ball this day and age has one, if not all. So what we want to do is set this alignment line. And I've talked about aligning your line on the ball, on the, on the line that ball needs to start on. But we're going to do that on this one here and get this alignment line set at this hole. And I'm going to set up to this ball with the center line on the club face on that line. And immediately it will show me that this golf club and this golf ball are lined up in the center. Very simple way to track that. So all I have to do is line the line up here with the center of the golf ball. I can set up, make my stroke from there into my hole. So... When you do that, you'll feel much more solid contact, much less twisting of the club, and a much truer roll. Very simple thing to do. If you have any questions about this, feel free to email brad at puzzleduckgolf.com. Keep in mind that we do have some uh, things on the uh, internet that are available with the Puzzle Duck Golf logo, the Puzzle Duck Golf logo that my friend Thomas Sullivan made for me. Also, the book is available. You can get that through the website, puzzleduckgolf.com. Uh, that's a great little gift, I think. Uh, hopefully those who have read it enjoyed it. Always interested and enjoy reading the feedback uh, after you've had a chance to read a couple chapters of that. 
And again, if you have any questions, feel free to email me at brad at puzzlethegolf.com. We'll talk to you in December. Have a great turkey day tomorrow. And uh, play more golf. That's always a good thing to do.